What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony J coming in for another video. And for this video, I want to talk about MX amplifier and input sensitivity. Stay tuned. input sensitivity with a MX 4000.1 D amplifier uh, I'm a, I already got it the screws taken out because uh, the amp ended up blowing on me and I just wanted to actually, actually I'm trying to make this video quick but uh, and it, it ended up blowing on me because with my radio I had a, a, a four, uh, 4 volt pre out and this amplifier only does the highest it does is two volts and when I hooked it up I could tell it was just struggling you know uh, it would get hot fast and I would just you know I, you know uh, uh, with the truck and if you don't, haven't seen the uh, what type of vehicle I got you know go back to the next video I'm gonna see if I could put it uh, over here on the top but you know don't uh, uh, hope for that yet, but you know cuz I'm learning trying to do editing and stuff like that So I digress but back to this It will get hot quick and the amp was behind me usually I put it under my seats So I was able to fill it and when I first installed it and I said usually tuning it This amp was getting hot real quick, but I always felt like input sensitivity of an amp is very important a lot of people look over that You know, I really don't I think you said neither most likely with this amp, you know, because it's a it's an old school MX MAT, uh, amplifier, so uh, it's American made, but this is you know kind of old school, and it basically was going off the voltage of mostly the older radio radios, but now mostly radios, and I have a flip out Pioneer, it's you know the voltage is higher, which is mine's is four. But I only had the gain up on this at one fourth, which in reality I just should have had it at zero all the way down. But I don't know if that really would have made it. It probably would have made some type of difference. But let me show you the board and, and eventually end up what happened because it ended up smoking. And I think the caps, I'm not, ooh, and this thing is smelling bad. The caps, hold on, because it ended up busting. One bust is kind of leaking, so I want to be careful. But if you see that one right there, because here's the, let me see this guy. This one, this end up, look at this. So we heat it up and and right there you, you can't help but to see it, it ended up busting. So if you want to just want to look at the amplifier. So uh I don't know, try to get that replaced, try to get it fixed. So, but let me put this down because it's actually was leaking. Why the caps end up busting. 
smoking. So, and could I really could I say, uh, can the sensitivity play a part? Yes, because you know, it's usually it's clipping, you know, and if you're getting a clip signal, you know, input clip signal, you know, that makes the amp, you know, heats up quicker than, than it would with just a cleaner signal. So, but you know, hey, um, you know, lesson learned. You know, these more are suitable for the two volt uh, preamp older radio, or even the new, you know, some of the newer, like the single dance are two volts, the lower tier radios are two volts, so, or lower. Um, you got your iPads and stuff, that's even lower that you probably want to use with a DS, DSP or uh, uh, input, um, the signal input, you know, devices. So, but I just wanted to kind of really come to uh talk to you about that you know that it does play a part so you know if you're getting the clip signal in in input you know it can make the amp heat up really fast and when the amp get hot that's trouble as you see things can explode and bust and melt and all type of things so but uh the rails and um the circuitry on the rails and stuff like that i don't know if you've seen it i'll show you one more time quickly most everything is good on here it's like it's still looking like new the only problem was just that but if you look i don't know if you can see that guys the rails it's good uh, on the other side flip it over I'm careful with this amp i don't know if you can see that the rails really are not burnt so good shape overall the amp is really not in that too bad of a shape show you guys so but like I said I want to make I didn't want the video to be too long so I want to come in and just tell you guys about pay attention to that look for the manufacturer uh, manufacturers uh, specs or the company specs for the amp um, and and make sure you try to um, you adjust it, you know, uh, tuning, that helps, uh, DD1, oscilloscope, whatever, you know, whatever, that's the two best things to get. Um, that's really important, so, because, you know, you're clipping your input, you could be, I won't say too much clipping on the output, but that does still affect the amplifier, and, you know, the amplifier gets hot and really hot, that's trouble. So, I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys about that. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do more and more videos, especially important videos, some things people don't really, you know, pay attention to or look past, so. Oh, and before I, uh, before I go, I got to also tell you about the electrical I got in my truck, the alternator and the batteries, which I have a 320 alternator with uh, two North Star uh, batteries, uh, uh, 3474 in the front and uh, uh, 220 uh, SMS uh a North Star in the back, so uh, electrical was decent. I usually stayed above 14, um, close to 14, between thir lower 13, 14 uh, voltage. So using my my voltage, my electrical was uh, it was good. So I really paid attention to that. So that really wasn't too much of a problem. So I actually want to come back in and chime on that before people was wondering what type of electrical did I have. So. I had, you know, everything basically is upgrade. Oh, and um, I have uh, two out welding, uh, welding cable. Um, so just one run from the front to the back. So I wanted to throw that in. So, you know, um, other than that, get on out of here. All right. Peace out, YouTube.